Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine if OCl2 is a polar or non-polar molecule. So to determine its polarity we first need to look at its Lewis structure. Here is a Lewis structure of OCl2 or dichlorine monoxide in which oxygen atom is forming two single bonds with two chlorine atoms but it also has two lone pairs of electrons. Now the Lewis structure might give an idea of the arrangement of valence electrons and the atoms in the structure but you really need to look at its 3D structure or the molecular geometry to understand the shape of the molecule. So if you look at this molecule in 3D or you look at the, its arrangement, it is a bent molecule. And this is because of the two lone pairs and this is because of the two lone pairs that is present on the oxygen atom. And as this molecule is bent molecule, the charges will not be distributed evenly so whenever there is a bent in this molecule according to VSCPR theory or whenever there are lone pairs present on the central atom it leads to uneven distribution of charges and here chlorine atom is as it is more electronegative than the oxygen atom which will lead to the dipole moment in the direction of chlorine atom and this will not cancel out if this was a linear molecule the di dipole moments would have cancelled out each other because of the opposite direction but because this molecule is now bent these dipole moments will not be cancelled out and as a result there will be a non-zero dipole moment in this molecule which results in the uneven distribution of charges and that leads to the formation of poles in this molecule and as there are poles formed in this molecule OCl2 is a polar molecule OCl2 is a polar molecule. I hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.